Hello, um, I am Alice Webb, and this is an exhibit, a collaboration, um, Aimless Wondering is the name of the exhibit, between Margot Geist and I. Um, we thought of this a couple of years ago, talking about meditation and walking through the bosque or around open space grounds, what that was like, and how this sort of aimless wandering meditation um, is, is a space in which you can gather information. I gather the information and take it back to my studio. I also have been working on this body of work for a while, and um, so the, 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 some of the symbols in the painting, such as this one, this is called Balance Beam, and this is Abundant Season, um, you'll notice that there is this curved line in, in many of the um, pieces. And where that comes from is from a process of scraping and sanding paintings and then letting whatever was in the painting come out, letting it evolve. Letting the painting guide me. And this, I started doing this many years ago. What I found was that I came up with something that looks very much like a yantra, or which is an East Indian or a Hindu, an ancient Hindu symbol for, that can be used as a, a focal point for meditation. So this kind of goes in with the idea of wandering, aimless wandering, and the meditation that you can do while wandering around a natural space like the Bosque, and how we gather information and it sharpens our senses in that way. Um, so balance beam is, um, in, in a way, when I was, all my titles come while I'm working on them. They just, they, the paintings tell me what they are. And balance beam, is, you can see, it has a, a horizontal rectangle at the bottom, and then th there's a balance between the seed-like shapes on one side and the seed-like shapes on the other side. So the idea of being balanced in nature and being balanced within ourselves is very important to me. Abundant season, I think that probably speaks for itself. I mean, um, there's a bowl-like shape, and then you'll see a lot of seeds in the, in the bowl-like shape. Again, you'll see the rectangle. In tango, I wanted to really experiment with mixed media. So I have, there's four layers in this canvas. There's first, there's a layer of spray paint, then there's a layer of acrylic, and then there was some oil, oil painting done, and the final layer is the silver leaf. I've used silver leaf in this one. I used, I think I have silver leaf and some of the others, gold leaf. I'm working at home with one with copper leaf right now and mixing the leaf works. One of the things that was really interesting to me, I brought a friend over, Ron Chapman, an author, and he noticed that in my paintings, the smaller paintings are looser, more, more abstract, whereas the, the Larger paintings are more controlled. And I've noticed this in my work, too. Uh, as I've grown older, I've become, well, when I was young, I was very full of energy and really throwing paint on the canvases. And now I've become more thoughtful, more, more meditative with what I'm doing in the paintings. The fire series was very, very much fun for me. This is another layering. Uh, spray paint on the back, and then strips of other paintings were cut and, and applied to the cradle board. And then again, I let the painting tell me what it wants to do on these smaller pieces. So this was very much about uh, fire, it, it seemed apparent. And if you remember, we've had trouble with fire in the Bosque when people don't pay attention and 
maybe put out a cigarette or who knows what they're doing down there when they set a fire, but it happens more frequently than we would like. So this was sort of thinking about the fires that have taken place in the Bosque before. And finally, Verano. Verano is summer, and um, one of my favorite of my pieces, and again, uh, I used both spray paint and, and really sharp edges, so a lot of control in this piece. I hope you do get a chance to come out and see this show at Open Space, this collaboration between Margot Geist and myself. Um, I myself was thrilled to be a part of it, so thank you.